A B is 432, B C is 96. A into B is 432, B into 6, C is 96. At positive integers, C less than 9. Product is involved. So as much as possible, keep the numbers as low as possible, or as close to each other as possible. C is less than 9, C could be 8. 12 into 8 works. 432 is 216 into 2. 2 cube into 3 cube into 2. This is 2 power 4 into 3 cube. Keeping it in terms of prime factorization could be easier. C could be 8, B could be 12. Keep it close. C could be 6, B could be 16. Can 4 won't work. 4, 5 won't work. 4 into 24, 3 into 32, 2 into 48, 1 into 96. I think is outlandish. Even this we don't need to worry about. It's one of these four, and whichever one works. So if B were, let's say B is twelve, B is sixteen, B is twenty-four, B is thirty-two. B cannot even be thirty-two. That is two power five. Only two power four into three cube. A. What should A be? B is two square into three. A should be two square into three square, remaining thirty-six. B is sixteen. A is twenty-seven. B is twenty-four. Two cube into three. Two into three square. A should be eighteen. Lovely. So we have A, B, C. A could be thirty-six. B could be twelve. C could be eight. This looks nice. Or A is twenty-seven. B is sixteen. C is six. B is twenty-four. A is eighteen. C is B being sorry, A is eighteen, B is twenty-four, C is four. One of these is the answer. This is minus nine plus four minus two, so this is better. I'm just comparing. Minus nine plus eight minus two. This will be better. Twenty-seven plus sixteen plus sixteen plus six twenty-two. Twenty-two plus twenty-seven is forty-nine. Twenty-eight plus eighteen is forty-six. 46 is better.